generalization might be made about the national uh, character of the people. For example, the British are often seen as a romantic people. In this light, could Huzur give his opinion on the national character of the Turks and how such a people should be approached regarding the promised Messiah? Can you understand? A little bit. What is the national character of the Turk people? according to Hazor's opinion and how these people should be approached regarding the message of the Promised Messiah. Okay, the national character of the Turkish people is that they are very rigid in certain attitudes. They are rigid in their national traditions of uh, being a free people. And they would never accept being enslaved by any foreign country. This is one of the most prominent characters of the Turkish people. They will do anything, offer every sacrifice, but they must remain free, not under the yoke of any foreign rule. Do you agree with this character? Correct. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, they love Islam, but they do not practice it. <laughs> They love Islam in generality, but little do they care for Islamic values in daily life and daily practices. Those who do practice Islam among them are very rigid, so strict that nothing of Islam is left within the stiff outside within their empty. So those who do not practice Islam with such rigidity, they turn to Sufism. And under the opiate of Sufism, they can do anything which they like but Islam. So it's a strange contradiction in Turkish life some people are left with only utensils which should have been filled with the spirit of Islam. Some people try to keep the spirit of Islam without utensils, so they cannot. So this, in my opinion, is the overall character of the Turkish people. As far as uh, the approach of Ahmed is concerned, it's very difficult under the circumstances when both these parties are governed by their leaders of their own brand and they do not want foreign interference. But one thing which is mostly common among the Turks is that they like uh, Hanfism. Mostly they are Hanfites. But unfortunately during the last decade or so their Hanfi faith has been corroded by Saudi money. And practically they have bought over all the religious leaders who previously were Hanafites and without their realizing it they are now gradually shifting to Wahhabism. So these are the complications which uh, make it very difficult for the spread of Ahmadiyyat among the Turkish people while they are in Turkey. But when they are outside, like in Germany and other countries, there I believe it is far more possible to convey the message of Ahmadiyyat to them because gradually when they live outside in the country, in different countries, they lose faith in Islam anyway. A large number among them begins to shift to Western values and they do not care much for whatever they had inherited from their Turkish traditions. So it is such people to whom Ahmadiyyat can be introduced with this sense of rationality, with all the wisdom it carries. As a result of that, I believe, these people being wise, they will be attracted towards Ahmadiyyat 
far more than towards any religious explanation. Right? Being a Turk, tell me straightforwardly, do you agree with this general analysis or do you have to suggest some changes in my assessment of the Turkey people? I completely agree with you. Yes. I'm so happy. Yes. Now, Aisha. 